I've worked at a lot of different places from manufacturing factories to distribution centers to fast food to even even a, a yacht yard where where we refurbish we fix we recreated yachts yeah rich people should now listen and uh, this is this 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 should get a lot of a lot of views but it's not I've trained people right I've trained people I learned the job and I trained somebody whoever I was training to do the job the problem is and, and these companies want to know what the problem is why they can't retain people why is why do people quit why is there such a high not a high retention, I guess. They can't keep nobody. I'm gonna tell you why you can't keep nobody. Because your management is terrible. Your training is terrible. I'm gonna t Most of these places that I've worked, my training was basically this. It, it, there's only been a couple different instance, instances where I actually had a, a decent trainer who taught me how to do things correctly. Most of the time, my training consisted of this. Throw you out in the deep end, sink or swim. That's pretty much my training in most places. And then and then these places wonder why there's accidents, why people get hurt, and things of this nature. You know, you got you got mid-management. These people make maybe 10 grand more than the rest of the people there that work there. Maybe 20 grand. But since they make this extra money, they think that they're royalty compared to these people. There's no relatability at all. None. The only reason that most of these people got into where they're at in mid-management is because they could kiss butt well or they have some degree. How hard is it to work? How hard is it to learn a, a computer system? A monkey can learn this crap. And if there is a problem, you call IT and they and they walk you through the problem or they fix it for you. So here's the problem. A lot of these people that who, who get who are supervisors or even worse, the higher up it gets, the, the, the worse it is whether they're a foreman or a manager or whatever, they have, these people, the higher up they go, they have no idea how the, how the place is run. They have no idea how to do the regular jobs out there. That the, the, the and, and they're in charge of these people. And not only that, they have no relatability. These people act like they're kings and queens and they can't, they don't know how to even talk to the people they're in charge of. Oh, they can give orders. But they don't have any clue how to do the job. They couldn't even go out there because a lot of these people are out of shape. And uh, they're, they're, oh, I got a college degree. College degree don't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. Uh, from what I hear, 70% of people who go to college don't even use a degree. I worked at places where, for whatever reason, they put engineers in, char uh, uh, in management in uh and management positions. See, here's the thing: is these people who are mid management, who are who are who are kings and queens, who think that they, they, their stuff don't stink, they're going to be replaced by AI programs. That's what's going to happen, and they should. See, the thing is, there's there's horrible training. The people that are in charge, these supervisors that are in charge of people. That only really get there, like supervisors. Okay, I got a little bit more respect for because they can usually do the jobs out there. They're just most of these people are just lazy. But the managers, these people are completely worthless. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering why these these places don't use undercover boss more often and you don't have to have a TV program you can just go and do it yourself why why don't these big companies see see what's actually happening 
in their companies, in the lower levels. Why don't they see that? Why don't they try? Why don't they try to figure it out? Why don't they use the technology out here to see who the actual bad eggs are? To see why the why why production is terrible, why there's lots of accidents and 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 that all of this and that. But no, they're not going to do none of that. They don't do this. Why? Why don't they do this? I don't know why they don't do it. That's what I would be doing. I, I'd want to know what's going on in my company. I'd want to know what my employees are doing. I'd want to know what the people who actually produce things have to go through. That's what I would want to know. I will, I would want to know why there's so so many safety instances, why they are um why people are quitting, why people don't want to work for certain people. See Here's how it goes. You know, you got the regular worker, then you got the person above, usually a supervisor, a lead, whatever, and then you, and you keep on going up. And then once you get in that mid management and all this section, it's basically, it's just if you can kiss your bosses behind well. That's it. That's it. And if, and if something goes wrong, you blame it on the people below you. You don't take responsibility yourself. The, the training is horrible. Training for jobs that I've been at, and I've been at a lot, have been atrocious. Atrocious. And, and these companies wonder why they lose so much money. Why? These people, you know, I've seen these these people get these people who who don't produce anything who are like watching over. They're basically overseers of the actual people who produce. The people who do production and all that, they know what they're doing. They don't even really need a supervisor. If you got a good crew, they go in, they know what needs to be done, they go and do it. Right? The supervisor comes down, you know, and when there's a problem, that's about it. That's what these people do. And then this is what happens too. What I've noticed is they put regular production workers as trainers because they know how to do the job when the supervisor should want actually training the person. But no, they put that responsibility on other people and this person doesn't get paid any better, right? There's no extra bonus for training this person. And this person might not, just, just because this person knows how to do the job well, it doesn't mean he knows how to train well, it doesn't, I mean, he might not be able to communicate well, or he might be looking at this person as why I want to teach this person. So he might take my job. So it's just putting responsibility on other people. That's all they do is put responsibility on other people so they can sit in their office and do nothing, collect salary. That's all they do. Mid management is terrible and can't wait until they are replaced. I cannot wait until these people have to come down to production level or have no jobs at all. If you if you own a company, I'm going to tell you the number one thing you need to do, the number one thing you need to invest in is getting some worker, someone off the street to come in at the bottom level as a trainee, an entry-level person, so you can see how things are really ran. Because this is what happens with you with you corporate people, you big dogs that come in through your, your companies. For whatever reason, you tell these people in a, in, a, in a specific plant that you're coming. You don't just show up. You don't just show up out of the blue. So what do they do? They have time to prepare for things. They have time to uh, clean up everywhere. So you don't see how things are really ran. I've actually seen in one of my places where they guided them through the, the plant, right? And they just, they're pretty much, it seemed like they were cleaning up right before, right? Don't want you going over here and I'll come this way. You CEOs, you people in charge need to come down 
to our level or have somebody else utilize this utilize undercover boss type of deal you don't need to, like i say you don't need the tv show but what, what what you could use is like me put me in there set me up with some cameras some hidden cameras and some microphones and i'll go in there wherever see what's going on talk to people see how i get treated as a new employee then you can see what really is happening because they hide they hide things from you if you knew the truth i'm gonna tell you something if you people in charge of these places actually knew what was going on heads would be rolling you would be you're fired you're fired you're fired you're fired 